Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I wanted to do a very quick video that might help you if you're using the HDR high dynamic range color wheels here in DaVinci Resolve. Now, one thing that people don't realize is that in the HDR range uh, color wheels, you actually have to set your color space. So this can be very important if you're working within a certain color space, like maybe DaVinci Intermediate with DaVinci Wide Gamut or whatever color space you may be working in. So to do this, you wanna make sure you're going to your wheels here. So of course, if you're on the edit page, go to the color page, and then you're gonna make sure that you're on the HDR wheels here. And then you're gonna go to this little three buttons and you're gonna click on that. And then where it says color space, in my case, I'm gonna go to red, wide, gamut, RGB. And I'm gonna redo that again, gamma, and then do log R, R, G310. So what this is doing now is this is telling the HDR wheels, hey, look, I want you to work within uh, red log gamma in my case, or in you know DaVinci Intermediate or whatever it may be. So that when I'm using these tools, it's actually utilizing all of the information of that correct color space. I'm not honestly sure what it defaults to, but you just wanna make sure that you set this because if you don't, uh, it can cause some, some problems and you're not gonna get the best you can. So anyway, there you go. Super quick tip to make sure that you get the perfect color every single time. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.